This morning I'm baking cranberry and almond biscotti. If you haven't made biscotti before, don't be put off thinking they're complicated to make. They really aren't. They seem a bit fancy, but it's a simple recipe. First step, uh, preheat the oven to 190. I've got a greased baking tray here and I'm just going to flour it fairly generously into a bowl. 260 grams of plain flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm also going to add in 60 grams. I would usually use desiccated coconuts. I haven't quite got 60 grams, so I've topped it up with the threaded. And also the zest, here we are, of a lemon. I'm going to mix in three eggs and a cup of sugar. This is now going to mix into the dry ingredients. This is mixed together nicely. Then I'm going to mix in 100 grams of chopped or sliced or slivered almonds and quite a generous heaped half a cup of chopped up cranberries. I like to add, just for flavour, just a couple of drops of lemon juice. Don't worry too much if you don't have. And this is taking shape nicely. You don't want the dough to be too sticky, so if it is, just add a little more flour. Then we're going to tip out onto a floured bench top. And we're going to split the dough into two, roughly, and just form it into two logs. Pop these straight onto the baking tray Oops. and bake for 30 minutes. They've been shaped into logs and the dough has baked in the oven for 30 minutes. I've now taken them out. The oven is reduced to 130. And once they're cool enough to handle, we're going to start slicing them up. Use a heavy serrated knife. We'll just reflower the tray just a little, and then we're literally going to lay them down, ready to bake. These are ready to go into the oven, so I'll do that for 20 minutes. Here are my finished cranberry and almond biscotti, crunchy and delicious. I've dipped them into white chocolate and sprinkled some nuts on too for that extra touch.